Even though it's been eight years, he'll always be the love of my life. 2014 may seem like a long time ago. I miss him so much. The pain, though, still cuts deep and for Sherry Sharp. But I know I'm going to see him again someday, so that's what I hold on to. Pleasant memories of her late husband help ease the sting. And I called him Richard. Most people called him Rick. Rick and Sherry Sharp were high school sweethearts in Alexandria. And I knew the minute I looked at him that he was the person I was going to spend the rest of my life with. I just knew it. Rick Sharp's name might not ring a bell. I am sitting in my husband's uh, chair, desk chair, at his office. But you almost certainly have heard of the businesses he helped make a household name wasn't the end of the game that was as important to him as how he got there. Rick revolutionized used car buying when he founded CarMax. We never went past a CarMax. We went into the CarMax. And he enjoyed walking around and meeting the people and seeing how the how it was doing in that particular location. Circuit City on West Broad Street. The computer whiz also navigated the Richmond-based Circuit City to the top of the electronics world as the company's CEO. I think when Richard left, they were a $10 billion company. Rick was also an early investor and CEO of the shoe company, Crocs. Confident, but he was also humble. Well, Rick was an amazing guy. Former Circuit City executive Richard Birnbaum says his friend Rick could outwork anyone. Embraced life to the fullest. There was no, no downtime. It was very fun to work with and play with. Professionally, Rick Sharp was soaring, but personally, an insidious disease was slowly taking its toll on the father of two. The part of who he was that he was losing was very frightening to him. Routine tasks like finding his way home became difficult. That was the first indication that I had something was wrong. In 2010, Rick's doctors deliver a diagnosis. You know, when you hear, I'm sorry, but you have Alzheimer's, you know, it's, it's like a death sentence. The sickness ran in Rick's family, but the diagnosis was still a blow, robbing this dynamic leader of his memory. This is Richard with his dad and his uncle, uh, both who died from Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's affects six million Americans. With people living longer, that number is expected to rise in the coming years. There is no known cure. He felt like it was just part of his DNA. Following his death in June of 2014 at the age of 67, Sherry Sharp and friends founded the Rick Sharp Alzheimer's Foundation. We ask ourselves every day, what would Rick do? So far, the foundation has donated more than $2 million towards Alzheimer's research. The number of donors and people that want to help raise money and help find a cure for Alzheimer's disease and Rick's memory is, is extraordinary. Sherry Sharp remains committed to fighting the disease through awareness. I would just encourage people, if they are dealing with Alzheimer's, call it what it is and ask for help because you need it. The widow says her late husband still motivates. I don't want my children or my four precious grandchildren to have to endure that ugly disease. From used cars to computers, Rick Sharp left a massive imprint on the retail landscape across America. Our family, uh, Richard, Donna, and April, and me. Aside from his family, Rick Sharp's most important legacy just may be how many patients and their loved ones who will find comfort in his name when a cure is found. I have a lot of motivation to try to continue to work in bringing this disease to an end. I hope I live long enough to see that happen. If you're interested in learning more about Alzheimer's or the Rick Sharp Foundation, I have that information on our show website, WTVR.com.